Good afternoon, everyone. Hope we're all okay today. I am Lou Trepin, and we're uh, we're back on Twitch today. Let me just get on Twitter. Let me just check in on Twitch as well. Um, can't spell Twitch today for some reason. Yep. Uh, my channel. Uh, right, we're in. We're on. Hello, everyone. Wait for a few people to come along. And we'll get started, I think. Uh, bloody hell, Josh. That was quick. I've only been on for 30 seconds. Hello, buddy. How are you? Josh, I need to get, I need you to get more people onto uh my YouTube and Twitch. That's your uh, mission today is to get another few people on here. You know any football fa football manager fans? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, at least you're ready on here. Did you figure out what you're doing with Strasbourg in the end? Are you still doing it, or you just have you got bored? I don't think football managers for you, mate. You get bored very easily. <laughs> Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. What team are you going to be, though? I think you should go for an obscure team. No downloaded tactics. No buying every single wonder kid you can think of. Only pick players that your scouts recommend. Try and keep it really difficult as possible. Um, and I think it will make it a more of a challenging save and more entertaining for you. Right, that's everything I needed to do on that side, so we'll get started in a second. Yeah, there you go. Probably best way to do it, isn't it? Was any of them any of them teams that we had in that random thing last time I was on here, was any of them teams you've never managed before? I mean, you never managed Strasbourg before and you got bored of them. Talking of Strasbourg, I've, um, in my Everton save, I signed Emigar from Strasbourg. Scored two in his debut, so he's a pretty good player, to be honest. He, um, that one, that player, I signed him. Hello to anybody else that's joined the chat. We're just going to load up the Newcastle save now. Yeah, he, he is pretty good so far. Doing well. Um, I'm having an interesting save as offliners. Um, Friends. I'm not signing anybody and I'm just playing with youth players and stuff like that. So uh, that's quite interesting. Managed to make some decent money on player sales. Got over 100 million in the bank with Renz. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Renz. We're here to talk about Newcastle. And we are 13 games in, 7 wins, 5 draws and 1 loss. 26 points, so we're doing quite well. Doing better at the moment than we were this time last season. Oh uh, yeah, we're we playing for the next. Yeah, they are known, yeah. So Josh, have you got any friends that are football manager fans? You think they'd be interested in this? Joining in the, uh, the chat, watching me play very, well, relatively well as Newcastle. Um, Ruben, Coyote, Mancini, Inecio, Livamento, Hartman, Bruno Gomez, uh, Pedro Gonzalez, 
Stun and Brewster for some reason up front. That's 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 quite bad if we've got him up front. I'd rather play Deli Ali up front at this right at this point. There you go, Deli Ali can play up front. We not got any other strikers. Hold on, why is why is Kun, 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 Kuna, Kuna? There you go, he can play up there. Got oh, a very bad depth in squad at the moment. Ah, uh, it's all right, mate. Don't worry. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only half joking about that. I appreciate, I appreciate the support you've been giving me already. To be honest, so um, appreciate the comments on the YouTube videos and stuff like that, mate. So yeah, much appreciated. Um, as of as of right now, I have 888 YouTube subscribers. A lot of them are bots because I did this stupid promotion thing. But um, hopefully that will change in time. And I'll get some actual real people. Um, if I have a look at returning viewers, audience. I've got forty-four returning viewers, which makes me think they're not—they are not bots, and they're actual legit people. Uh, that's good. Yeah, doing all right so far. Um, is Durandi going to join us today? Do you reckon? My uh, my Dutch friend, one nil up, not paying any attention to the game because I was doing other things. Um, that's what I like about Switch. I don't really need to concentrate one hundred percent on the game. Whereas uh, YouTube, uh, when I do the videos, I have to basically watch it all the way through. What have you been up to today, then, Josh? Anything exciting? Oh, all right, Dan, Dan the man. <laughs> All right, Dan, bloody hell. Uh, to answer your question, Josh, I am. Um, I can't remember. I, I've finished the first season on a. Where have I? No. I can't remember. I think I'm halfway through the season with Renz. I could be a little bit further than that without looking. I ain't got a clue. If I get enough interest, I'll, I'll come off here and I'll just play, uh, I'll play me Renz save instead. <laughs> right, Deli Ali's having to come on. Son is injured. Messi's not back to full fitness yet. I know, yeah, I know, Dan. I've got proper ADHD, me, mate. Hope you're okay, big Dan. Your handle fell off. What do you mean your handle fell off? What what handle? Right, we're two 0 off. Missed both goals. Actually, I'm going to replay the goals because I didn't see them. This was the first goal. It's in for you, Big Dan, so you can watch the first goal. Ta -da, beautiful class there. And then we go the second goal here. Son with a beautiful pass. Gonzalez again. We don't need a striker if we've got Gonzalez. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Can't be as bad as my flipping flat, mate. I'll tell you now, my flat is... is it, it's, it's warmer outside than it is in my flat. It's just ridiculous. I had to have a hot water bottle in bed yesterday. I felt like a proper old man having that, but it, it, did, it did work the treat. I, uh, I was nice and warm in bed last night. Um, son is. Uh, I'll have a look in a second. Bear with us. Wait for this highlight to finish whenever it does. Oh yeah, anti mold spray. I, I use that all the time. And we we get I get condensation in this flat, and it's um, we, water leaks out the window. So every every morning I have to get a towel and dry off all the water from the windows and stuff. Like that. It's it's really bad to be honest it's uh my nose is constantly cold when it's weather like this i just can't get i can't get warm for ages oh yeah i might get some of them that might help actually to be honest i think they helped last time when i had them ages and ages ago what you been up to today, Big Dan, if you're still there, mate? So I don't want to leave you out. I mean, me and, me and Josh just go off on a tangent, mate. Hope you're okay. 
Oh yeah, big done. Make sure you're available for from mine and Joe's birthday night out in Birmingham. Middle of June. I think Big Dan's, uh, he's there, he's hovering around, I reckon. He, bless him, he, he doesn't even want, he didn't like football, so he, he, he just comes on here to support me, so I appreciate it. I'll message him on Facebook later. All right, so uh, Truvin now. I've done so many videos. Josh, I've done about four videos uh, today, so I'm all FM'd out. I can't be bothered to... Comment on the games, <laughs> which I know is not good for my people who watch on Twitch. Uh, I'll try my best. I just probably need just to give me five, ten minutes just to get back into the swing of things. I think with Twitch, I think more people just come on here to bloody chat to me, like you. I don't think they really come on here to watch me play Football Manager. I don't mind. Oh. Nah. In fact, after this game, Josh, I'm going to show you... My most recent uh, thumbnail that I've, I've tried to do for this the, the this Wraith Rovers series I'm going to start soon. I'll show you after this game if you're still there. Hello to anybody else in the uh, Twitch Twitch chat. Can I get a whoop whoop? Are you there? Can you message me? Not message me. Um, put a message in the chat. Let me know. Might put some uh, streaming music on in a bit, some royalty free music, and we can hop away to that while I'm what more playing. Keep the ball in there. Oh well. There's bound to be loads of Google pages, Josh. Just, go just Google teams to manage. I've given you about 20, 30 of them. Like I said, I think football manager is not the game for you, and you get bored easily. I want you to get back to doing a TEW blog with New Japan. Enjoy the last one that you did. Do that for a bit and give yourself a break from football manager. Yeah, you could do TNA. You know? That would be an interesting idea as they're, they're building up a bit of momentum. You could do them. You could, what you could do is concentrate on signing wrestlers released from AW and WWE who, uh, who weren't given much of a chance and then try and build a roster like they've got at the moment. That'd be good. Yeah, they've also recently got an agreement with AAA as well, so it probably would definitely be a good idea to do that. Al Vakingo was at their last pay-per-view, wrestled their last pay-per-view. So yeah, so you could definitely do... Oh, that was a terrible pass, by the way. Yeah, you could definitely do... Um... This is really slow, this game. Has it gone... Hold on, let's speed it up a bit. Only 18 minutes into the game. Oh no, that's too fast. It just seems to be slow in between highlights. Yeah, Alex the Hammerstone. I don't think he's going to be in TNA for long. I think he's just there for that pipe that we're there for that show and that. But I think he'll eventually go to AEW, probably. Or WWE. He's definitely WWE's type of wrestler, isn't he? Look at the size of him. They could turn him into the new Hulk Hogan. Yeah. But you can uh, you could sign him and you can sign Richard Halliday as well. Um, sorry for people watching this expecting football manager content. We're going to be talking about obscure wrestlers for the next couple of minutes, so just bear with us. Um, but yeah, you could talk, you could sign Richard Halliday as well, and because uh, him and Hammerstein used to team up with MJF. You never know; you might be able to get MJF one day, and you can uh, recreate the dynasty. Yeah, do a TNA one, and then start doing a diary on it. And then send me the link, um, and I'll keep an eye on it, because I quite enjoyed your previous ones. It does take a lot of effort to do the diaries because of the photos and everything. That's why I stopped doing it on TW. I did enjoy my 
I say when I was Fight Club Pro and I was um, signing all these unknown British talents and stuff like that. That was pretty good. Levi Mule, I had him for a bit, and then he went to WWE. He didn't he didn't do much in NXT you know, UK, and then I think he got released, which is a shame because he's an incredible athlete. I actually just I just enjoy um, getting photos for all the wrestlers, and then I get bored once I do that. That's the that's the thing I enjoy is trying to find a photo for every single wrestler. All right, we're still two 0 This game is going really slow. Josh, is this game going really slow compared to usual? We're twenty. We're only twenty two minutes into the game. It just seems it just seems ah, this how slow this game's gone. on the highest speed as well it's on the fastest speed in between highlights maybe there's just been a lot of highlights but this first half was really dragging now yeah, there we go well done bruno come on artman i don't know what you're doing playing on the right Ah, I've got a feeling it's something to do with... Oh, I know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. It's to do with this, isn't it? That was what it was. Oh, you flipping bird. There we go. We sorted it in the end. Flipping idiot, and I... I wonder why it was taking so bloody long. Sorry for anybody that watches this on YouTube and uh, the replay of it. Or watching live, I do apologise. Right, Hartman. Inetio, Livramento. Oops, saves by the goalkeeper. Alright, uh, okay. I'll try and remember for next time, mate. Oh, there we go, son. Let's have a look. So he's had two goals and one assist in seven games so far. Not, not amazing, but... You know, like I said, I signed him because he was just, just I thought it'd be a great signing to sign. Signed for fifty million. I could sell him now and double my money if I wanted to. If somebody actually made an offer for him, I might, I might do that if they bring, if they make me an offer. Good goal by Son. Hey, it's almost as if the writing was on the wall there, wasn't it? There we go. Let's put some. Let me do this. I haven't done this before, so um. Oh, I don't have to do it. I'll figure it out next time. Right, 3 0 up, comfortable win so far. We're now 4 0 up, Gonzalez with the hat trick. I won't be happy unless Deli Ali scores, though, that's the problem. I want Deli Ali to score. Right, Messi, you'll come on for a bit. Bruno, you'll come off for Nali. And Livermento, you can come off, and we'll put Botman in there. Right, okay. Do we think Deli is going to score, Josh? Um, I will put him in here. There we go. I'll swap them, and then I'll swap them, and I'll have Sun up front. Deli Ali is in his more familiar role as a shadow striker, so hopefully that will benefit him. Nah. He's done all right for me, though. Deli Ali. Um... One goal in two games. <laughs> he's, not, he's not done that well, actually. I oh, know, I oh, know. But um, I always sign him in every single save that I do now because, like I said, I think it took a, a lot of guts for him to admit what happened to him when he was younger and stuff like that. And I think it did affect him, his attitude and stuff like that. And I think 
And it, you know, it's, it's easy for us to say, oh, they're lazy, they can't be bothered. But, you know, mental health, even in players, even in people who are like football players who are in a hell of a lot of money, they can still suffer with, oh, what a goal, that messy. Um, they can still suffer with mental health issues that causes their performance to go down. Uh, I just hope he finds happiness and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, I think he's a, he hasn't got a club in real life at the moment. Was he still at Everton? I think Everton released him. Denali. Come on, we want Delhi Ali to score. That's 6.9 rating. Uh, he, he's done all right. We've got another highlight here. We'll, Deli Ali, get the goal. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Oh, well. Good performance by Deli Ali when he needed to. He did the job. He set up all the play. That's how I'm going to put it down to. We're now top of the league. Arsenal's got a game ahead of us, though. So. Uh, go through this. Praise him. Oh, we've got Luton next. Yeah, he's still at Everton. Hopefully he can turn things around there, or I think his contract expires at the end of the season. So I'm hoping he gets a fresh start, maybe in the championship club or something like that, or maybe a premiership club will take a punt on him. I could see him going to a team like Luton Town or something like that. Yeah, he could go back to MK Dons. Um, but I don't class Milton Keynes as a real city uh, or a real football team, actually. No, Milton Keynes is a real city, but yeah. Um, MK Dons will never be a football team as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we're second now. Arsenal won their last, won their game 4 0 against Fulham. Durate had a poor game. Durate, come on. Don't be a naughty boy. Oh well, he's off. Selling him. I decided. Not, he's not very good on this particular save. On my last save with Villa Real, he was rated a lot better. I think his potential is different every time you start a new save. Do I prefer Bundesliga or League One? Mm, neither. I, I can't say I'm a fan of either. I never watched the football there. Um, my dad's a. Is that Ligue 1 as in France or Le Ligue, Ligue 1? Oh, well, Fran France then, yeah, the French League. I don't watch any of it, but I prefer the French League to the German League. Let's be honest, both, both of the leagues are farmer, le farmer leagues for the Premiership, but um, at least the French League, you get more. In prospects there than you probably do in Germany. I could be wrong. Any fans of German league? Uh, just gonna go on here and just. God. Um. Bear with us. Right, sorry, bear with us two seconds. That's that, that's that done. Okay. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, um, I, if you're on about Ligue 1, as in France, then I prefer that to the German League. Yeah. I don't watch any of their, uh, the, the games on there. Actually, sometimes I'll watch a French League game, but that, that used to be um, a while back. But yeah. Got right, a few teams after Messi. I won't be selling them. Uh, Gordon out for three weeks. Ruben out for seven days. Hopefully by the by the end of this stream, we'd have, we'd have worked our way through the January window and got that done. 
POD. I wonder if we'll get any extra money. I don't think we will. Finances aren't very good. Yeah, we're definitely not getting any extra money unless the chairman injects some money out of nowhere. Sell some of these clauses, that might help a little bit, but seem to be burning through money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've managed to get make a, quite a bit of money, to be honest. How much? What we got? What's the balance like now? Yeah, so we made about eight million. Not that it's going to last long. That money will be gone by the time January comes along. Yeah, but you've already done a bloody save in France, and you got bored. What if you want to do a real proper French save? What you need to do is start as a team that's just got promoted to the French League Two, and then see if you can take them off the leagues, and then topple PSG. Or you could do a you could do a save with Paris FC, couldn't you? Why don't you do a save with Paris FC? Oh yeah, so yeah, so they've got they they um. They were on my list of teams to manage because Stolcho, or however you pronounce it, um, have a good track record of producing good young players. So, and they're in the lower leagues of the French French league. So that would be definitely an interesting one to do. Let's do that one then. Either that or Paris FC, but you probably already didn't say with Paris FC anyway. I think you, I remember you telling me you'd done a save with Paris FC. Yeah. Yeah, give them a go. Let's have a look at... See if I can... How do you say How do you spell it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look on here. If there are any... Oh, you got two. If you really wanted to be... You could always be this one. No, I'm joking. Uh, they're in Ireland anyway. No, they're not. France. Why is that? That looks like a, an Ireland national... The Ireland national team logo there. Right, so there we go. Decent kits. That's what you like to see is a decent kit. Uh, let's have a look at overview facilities. Great training and great youth facilities. You usually get that with a lot of, with most French teams. Um, good youth coaching, good youth recruitment. They spent much over the years. Last season they didn't spend much. Uh, they made 1.6 million in sales last season. Not much this season. They're currently 15th in League Two. Let's have a quick look at their squad for Josh. Do that and that. Uh, I don't see any players that that we would know that I would know. Oh, maybe him. I think I've seen. I think I've heard him before. Wesley Said, I've heard before. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely worth a go, Josh. You'll have to manage them then. I wanted to get my hot water bottle sorted so I could tuck it in between my legs to keep me warm. There we go, Deli Ali signed a new contract. That's what we like to see. Um, I didn't have enough time to put the kettle on in the end. Bottoming up for four to five weeks. Um... Josh, do you want to take a guess who, who, what country I have my biggest percentage of audience in? Take a guess. I'll, I'll give you three guesses. None of, none of them are in Europe. That'll help you. It's because of this um, campaign, this YouTube promotion thing that I, I gave a go for my, try and help bump up my videos. Um, and I got subscribers, but most of them are um, bots, so they won't they won't come back to the videos. So it was a waste of time. It only cost me a tenner. It wasn't the end of the world, um, and it might help attract other people to view it because some people do look at a, a YouTube and they'll say, "Oh, they've got a certain amount of subscribers. So they must be good." So it might it might help in that way, but it's the only benefit I can see happening with that. Yeah. India, there we go. India, there you go. You got it right straight away. Well done. Um, 
Brewster looks like he's playing at this game. No, he's not. I'm going to put Son on there. Yeah, percentage of my audience, the percentage of the the viewers and the subscribers to my YouTube page, and that that's what I meant by percentage. But yeah, you got it right first try. So yeah, so what 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 I did is I watched this video on YouTube with this guy, and he said this is how you can get some instant like some new subscribers. Um, and he basically said you just what you need to do is do a YouTube promotion thing and target countries that don't have very big cpn i can't remember what cpn means but um i think, it, I think cpn means like the che cheapest promotional something so the countries that wouldn't cost that much to promote in i did get a lot of subscribers from india pakistan philippines place like that but not many of them are going to be returning viewers so pretty pointless I'd, i wish i hadn't done it now i wish i just didn't bother with it. Yeah, we're winning 1-0 against Luton. I don't know. We must be. Who is my assistant manager? That is a question. Uh, let's have a look. Staff. I did recently get a new one, didn't I? Oh, no, it's Jason Tyndall. Yeah, Jason Tyndall. I think so. He must be. You'd have to be bloody living in Newcastle. They're all drunk up there. The Geordies love a beer, don't they? Why I get down the Toon Lake? Sorry to all new, sorry to all people from Newcastle. There, I do apologise. That was a terrible impression of you. Um, we're winning one now. We've got the ball. Come, come for. Shoot. There we go. Kuna. Kuna, Kuna, no Kuna. I did, I did, I did check the um, Google Translate thing. I did, did play the audio clip, so I got it right. Two nil. I feel like our team is very. I think it's because Amashan is injured. And now Gonzalez is injured. I oh, know he's not. Gonzalez comes on for whoever's on the left. Um. I feel like our team's not as strong as it was last season for some reason. It looks weaker. I don't know why. Maybe I've got rid of quite a few players and I feel like I'm not a bit weaker in certain positions. Ah, nearly. We're two more. Yeah, anybody who decides to start content creating on YouTube, and yeah, you can get some subscribers by doing it this way, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. But it's it's what I did. I wish I hadn't done it because you feel better. Oh, good goal there by Tanali. You feel better if you get organic viewers. I wish I just started without it and then just built, even if it took me ages to build up a bit of, you know, a few subscribers and stuff. Yeah, pretty nil up. Doing well. Oh, Pedro Gonzalez comes on and scores. Josh, have you heard the latest that the, the new rumoured WrestleMania match is going to be Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk because Seth Rollins got injured? So they'll probably do Roman Reigns versus The Rock. And then they'll have Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk. So um, CM Punk will probably win the title at some point before WrestleMania. I think the best way to do it is have Cody win the Royal Rumble. CM Punk beats Seth Rollins over at the Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber, if you know need be. And then have Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk, with CM Punk being the heel. That'll probably be a good dynamic, I think. I mean, the big money match for them is CM Punk versus Roman Reigns, but I can't, I can't, I think that'll be Roman Reigns as a babyface and CM Punk as a heel with Paul Heyman turning on Roman Reigns, I think. Maybe the rest of the bloodline will turn on Roman Reigns as well and join CM Punk. 
That'd be one storyline they can do. They're starting to build up a lot of factions in WWE though, because you've got Karrion Cross and AOP as a new faction now. And then there's Bo Dallas posted a video recently about a, a new Wyatt family style stable with him as the leader involved. That'd be quite interesting. And they've already mentioned about, uh, in the promo, we mentioned about Karrion Cross, so maybe that will happen. I'm all, I'm all for having factions. I love making wrestling stables factions. I do that all the time on TEW. That's why I like Josh's TEW diaries because he, he he creates a load of little factions. Or he, when he was in, when he was New Japan Pro Wrestling, he'd, they'd have loads of factions in there. No, I know what you're saying. CM Punk doesn't need the title, but I think I think for the sake of it, I think he'll end up. Being the champion, even if it's for a short period of time, just to uh, then give it to Cody. Uh, they probably will. I think that's what will happen anyway. I could be wrong. Seth Rollins might be all right, and they might just stick to the original plan of Seth Rollins versus CM Punk, but then they can have them as two baby faces. Because I think, I think both of them are quite unlikable in likable as people in some ways. So I think. You're going to end up having two baby faces that two people don't, that most people don't particularly like, really. Yeah, yeah, punks on raw. Yeah, punks on raw. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. It's going to be interesting WrestleMania shit. Hopefully, as well. That I think they're going to do Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. I think that's going to be the the big women's title match, at WrestleMania, and I think that's probably the best match they can do. Um, and then other than that, you probably got Jay versus Jimmy Uso, or maybe they'll do Sami Zayn and Jim and Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sequoi. Um, and then you got to try and figure out what they're going to do with Drew McIntyre, what they're going to do with who else? There's a few I can't think at the top of my head. There's a quite a few. They've got quite a few main events, really. Kevin Owens. Then again, I think Kevin Owens will be a heel again before it's all said and done. So, yeah. Oh, we haven't got Omashen because he's on bloody international leave with the Af African Cup of Nations, I think. Oh, there we go. Messi on the verge of team and Premier League assist landmarks. Lionel Messi's potential challenge to the Newcastle United and the Premier League's record of assists is yet to truly develop into a full-blown media narrative. Lionel Messi is edging even ever closer to becoming the leading assist maker in both the both Newcastle United and Premier League history. His nine assists have put him in the contention to be Dominic. Um, whatever his name is, Liverpool player. Current records are 13, a milestone he looks increasingly likely to surpass. Uh, yeah, you never know. Unless Messi gets an injury, he might end up uh, breaking records in the Premier League, which would be good. He, he, it'll, be the, it'll go down as the greatest ever Messi, I think. Then again, we are a bit biased. I think it just depends on what generation you are. If you're like older generation, you're, you know, in. You, you, you know, in your 50s and 60s, you might say Maradona or Pele. It just depends on who you grew up with. Right, so we've got Costa in goal, Coyote, Mancini, Inicio, and Hartman in defence. Bruno Gamelas and Dele Alli in midfield. Brewster on the right, Kumper on the in the middle, Son on the left, and Calvert-Lewin up front. We are very depleted, that team. When you've got Dele Alli and bloody Calvert-Lewin in the team, it's a bit concerning. But hopefully we can still win. At least the defense is relatively solid. solid. And then we've got Bruno, Deli Ali not playing in usual position. Brewster is playing. Both of Deli Ali and Brewster aren't good enough to be in the team usually. But I think we just I think we've got so many injuries and we sold a lot of players, I think. Oh, 
Oh, I've got to throw in. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I don't know. I think it was a diving header by somebody. Oh, hit the bar. Eddie Alley with a diving header, I think. Brewster's knackered already after 25 minutes. That's that's great, though, isn't it? Uh, right, so who are we putting on? We'll put Messi on. I don't know why Messi isn't starting in the first place. Albert Lewin. Sun passes it to Hartman. Hartman out back out to Lewin. Sun. We're just playing a little bit of hot potato passing here. Can we get something out of this? Sun. Sukunta. There we go. Deli Ali. Josh. Deli Ali. Super, super player. There we go. We're going to. I'm going to put that on. We're going to watch that again. We're going to watch that again because it was Deli Ali at his best. Getting in their space and getting the goal for that. Can always rely on Deli Ali, Josh. Super, super Deli Ali. Messi. KOD. Can Deli Ali get another one? Oh, KOD was greedy. Should pass it to Deli Ali. Always pass it to Deli Ali. Right, Messi with the corner. Floats it in. There's nowhere near our players. Crystal Palace look like they are going to clear it. They don't have a free kick. Floats it in. Good little goal by them. Not going to count though. He was definitely offside. Oh, okay. Stand corrected. I thought he was offside. If you do go with La Liga, whoever you play for, the rule is you need to sign Deli Ali. That's the rule. You always have to sign Deli Ali. That'll make it interesting for you. Every save that you do now to make it interesting, you've got to play Deli Ali. And you've got to play him as a shadow striker as well. <laughs> you can use the tactic I'm using because that actually has a shadow striker already in there. Yeah, I think you'd have more fun in a La, La Liga. What you need to do, what you should do is pick the, the team predicted to be bottom of La Liga. And then manage them. Because they're the hard they'll be the hardest team to manage. So or whoever's who's hold on, I'm gonna pause this. Let me have a look. Um I'm just gonna have a look, see who's currently bottom of La Liga. Right, so currently bottom of La Liga is Almeria. But that would that would probably be too easy because they've got money uh, on FM. So you might want to be like Cadiz or Granada. I mean, Sevilla is not in Celta Vigo aren't doing bad. Oh, Villa right eh? Mallorca. Mallorca's got some nice kits and nice club colours. Oceana, the same. They've got some nice club colours. I had a really good save with Rayo Vallecano. Um, can't be Getafe because they've got Mason Greenwood and that would just be wrong. Las, pa Las Palmas. Las Palmas would be a good one as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that'll reflect on FM though. It depends. If you've got a latest data update, um I recommend Pro One data update is probably the best one to use. Yeah, definitely make your own tactic as well. What you need to do is look at look at your squad. Look at the squad panel and look at see what the your best players are and what their best roles are, and then try and figure out a, a tactic from that. I did it a different way. I picked tactic recommended because um, you get three set tactics recommended at the start of the save, and I picked one, and then I fit the players around that, and then I changed the roles, and I did that for Everton, and that really that worked out really well. And I tried to just pick the the players in their preferred roles. I thought it was going to be a catastrophe, but it worked out really well. I did think around with the tactics and thing and the instructions and stuff like that. Oh, come on. Deli Ali, where are you? You need to come and rescue us. You rescued us once, now rescue us again. You gave us a lead, now get us the equaliser. Lionel Messi, you're surprisingly not playing very well. And neither are you, son. That's very, you're very disappointing. Yeah, do it with Salt uh do it with Salt of Ego. They're good they'd be good save. If we were to do a Spanish League save uh network game at some point, 
I, I don't mind being uh, Rail Betty's because uh, I quite enjoy being them. I like, I like their colours as well. But yeah, see how you get on with Salsa Vigo. You might enjoy it. Oh, this is a disaster. Right, I'm berating the team here now. I've had enough of this. Hartman, you're knackered, so you're coming off. Oh, I can't take you off. Right, Bruno, you're coming off then. Oh, Bruno, you're coming on. You've had to come on for Tenali, I think. Ah, there you go. I think that's all right. Um, Son, you're coming on. Linton, you're coming on. They're knackered. The players are knackered. I need to rest them. Yeah, you definitely should be able to get De Gea in. Oh, that's good then. Hello to the other people. I think uh, my mate Big Dan's one of them. But yeah, if there's anybody else in here, Feel free to say hello in the chat if you want. If you can't, don't worry about it. I appreciate you watching. But yeah, that was an unexpected defeat to Crystal Palace. Which is not what we need right now. Yeah, I can understand why we're facing an inquest. Uh, let's have a look at... No, we're doing all right. That was just a blip. All right, sorry about that, everyone. I slightly, slightly touched my mic, and it just plays up every damn time. It drives me mad. I need to get... I bought a cheap USB cable from Poundland, and, and I think also the back of the mic itself is very dodgy. So, um, yeah, these things happen. Like I said, I only slightly touched it. This is the annoying thing about it. Yeah, I'm back. Um, it's a new mic I've had. I bought from CX. It's a second-hand mic, so I'm not happy with CX at the moment because I oh know I oh know I had up to five as well. I'm hoping they'll come back, wherever they are. So um, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, I'm bear with itchy eye. Right, let's get this back up and running. Um, yeah, like I said, there's nothing I can do about it for now. I can get, I might, I, I, I mean, if I get another, like, a uh, USB, I mean, surely the USB lead I bought from Poundland shouldn't be that bad that it, it, it does that, but 
yeah, it's annoying that I have to shut everything down and restart my computer when I slightly turn when the mic goes when I slightly touch the mic and it powers off. The only thing that's that gets it back up and running is restarting the whole flipping computer. Oh uh, yeah, Are you, can you hear me now, Josh? I hope you can because I'm gonna be really annoyed if you can't. I'm gonna smash that <laughs> smash that mic up. Um. Yeah, anybody that did join and I got to five people. Yeah, okay, cheers, mate. Uh, does it tell you who come? Because I can't see it. Does it tell you personally the names of the people that, that turn up into the chat or does it just tell you the number? It doesn't tell you the names or anything, does it? I assume it doesn't. It doesn't tell me. We'll just praise these. Yeah, just a number. Yeah, no worries. What were we talking about, Josh? You remember what we were talking about? We were talking about your you being salt of ego. Is that how? Is that is that where we got up to? Oh right, yeah, yeah. Jose Marino. Yeah, he's just not. He's not good enough. He's he's literally just a, a Portuguese version of Sam Allardyce at this point, isn't he? Let's be honest. His days are long gone in top management. If he had any sense, he'd just end up becoming the Portugal national team manager. And I know that's not what drives him. He loves club football and being around the players, but I just he doesn't need to work. He's earned all that money. He's better off just doing the Portuguese national team job. It's not like he wouldn't make good money from that as well. We've got a really depleted squad here, haven't we? Right, can we can we I know what I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna do. Right. We're gonna do this and this. And um, we're gonna do this. Come on. Okay, hold on. There we go. And we'll promote everybody to the senior squad. Uh now let's see what happens. There we go. Got a little bit better. Harry Clark is to make his debut. Um, pretty good though, to be honest. Look at that. 16 years old, already valued at up to 27 million. Five star potential. Definitely think he can do a good job in that position. But Jose Mourinho, he'd just blow it, wouldn't he? He's not, he's not, I mean, he just buys old players. He doesn't buy, he doesn't really buy young players for the future. He'll just, he, he's like me on this save and he buy, he'll buy like the old relic. I'm going to put my drink down here so I don't knock it over. Oh. Brewster, there we go. Oh, VAR's going to ruin it for him, poor lad. Hold this allowed. Yeah, mostly old players he signed, didn't he? Don't get me wrong, in his, uh, on, on his day, when he was at Chelsea and at Real Madrid, he was at the best of his powers then. And Inter Milan as well. He did well at Inter Milan. But I think when he went back to Chelsea, because he was obsessed with the Premiership when he, when he went back to Chelsea and then he, when he went to Man United as well, he just didn't do very well. And then Spurs. And I think he's just, he's just slowly going down the league table. So it wouldn't surprise me if he ends up at Newcastle or um, one day he might end up at Wolves because of the Portuguese connection they've got there. But... Yeah, I just think he, he's better off just retiring or just going into international management. He'd be good as the Brazil national team coach, wouldn't he, to be honest? Similar language. Not saying they're exactly the same Portuguese and Brazilian, but uh, I think he'd do well there because they're quite, they've got some decent defenders, so he, he knows how to play defensive football. Who the hell was that to then? That was really bad. I mean, saying that Jose Marino is the best manager we've had since Sir Alex isn't exactly a compliment because the, the absolute dross we've had. 
I mean, he did, he did win us the League Cup, so did Eric uh, Ten Hag. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how Ten Hag does the rest of the rest of his tenure at Man United. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, he won the Europa League, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, but that's not exactly. If he won the Champions League, it'd be different, wouldn't it? I think the Premiership and the Champions League are the only competitions I particularly care about. I think if you win anything else, I don't class you as a team. You could always be Sevilla, uh, Sevilla instead of Celta Vigo, Josh, because they've got a good track record of winning the Europa League every season. You could always do that. Plus also they've got a good reputation of um, being good in the transfer market. They bring in a lot of players and sell a lot of players every season, which is probably right up your alley. Nil-nil at the moment, just coming to half time in the Carabao Cup quarter final. I was trying to figure out which team we were then. Right, there we are. Inecho. Oh my god, Almiron. The reason why you... Oh my god, that was a great ball, whoever that was. Ah. Right, I'm going to demand more. Yeah, you probably would. Sevilla's probably right up your track. I don't want to confuse you. Go with Celta Vigo, mate, because they're a harder team. So I don't want you... Because you'll, be you'll be Sevilla, and then you'll get bored within about half an hour playing it. At least with Celta Vigo, you won't have all these players that you can sell. Have you looked at Celta Vigo's squad? Have they got any decent players? Right, Brewster now. He was very unfortunate to have that goal disallowed. Albert Lewin. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Deli Ali playing? Yeah, Deli Ali playing again. Becoming a bit of a first team regular. Right, I'm going to make some substitutes. Brewster, you're coming off. We're going to give him his debut. Aidan Mladonovic. We're going to take off you, Albert Lewin. We're going to make, give him his debut. Munchal. Uh, who else? Delia is not playing well, but I'm not taking him off. There we go. Mancini, you're knackered, so we'll put... We'll give him his debut. Oh, there we are. There we go. Three youngsters. We've got four youth prospects in the team now. There we go, Josh. We've got four young prospects in this team. Oh, we might get a goal scorer here. Oh, no. I thought he was going to score on his debut then. We're done here. Okay. It's gone really slow again. How the hell did I get rid of it last time? I oh, know. No, it's all right. Right, they've got a free kick. Over. Hello to anybody who's just joined the Twitch. Um, I do apologise if I had to restart earlier. I blame Josh. It's his fault. Uh, Josh is one zona, Mr. FM. So he's the one to blame for the, the Twitch going off. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get a goal. Let's get a goal. Let's get a bloody goal. Come on. Come on, that's healthy. It's a goal. We've been the better team, I think. All right, it's our corner. Can one of our youngsters come on now and score? Can he, can he be the hero in the last couple of minutes of the game? Oh, in the HO. I was hoping it was one of the young prospects. But yeah, at least we got a goal. At least we won. Ah, that's good. Nature to the rescue. We're through to the Parabell Cup semi final. Just have a little look at added Harry Clark. Harry Clark got a 7.2 rating, so that's really good considering he's 16 years old. And Moucher got a 6.7 rating. Uh, Hodanu got a 7.0 rating. And Mudovic 
Six point seven rating, so they, none, none of them played badly. Oh uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, chose to the rescue. Sheffield United next game. Now third in the Premiership, so we need to win this game, I think. My favourite saves on FM is is uh, youth only saves when you just bring through the young prospects and things like that, and then they end up getting really good, and then their value goes up massively, and you sell them, and then you put it back into the club. I love doing saves like that. I don't really, I don't really enjoy saves where you're spending loads of money and stuff like that. I know that sounds ridiculous considering the fact that I'm doing a Newcastle save and then Everton with a tycoon on YouTube, but these will change. Um, I think Rafe Rovers, it's, too, it's very similar to my P, uh, the save I did with Peebles Rovers. Scottish-ish non Lee. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll do it a couple of years. I might enjoy it. I, I should enjoy it because it's a lower league save. Like I said, I just wish when I got a shirt from Mystery Shirts, I just wish, a uh, surprise shirt, sorry. I just wish it was outside of the UK. But it is what it is. Next time I get one, I'm going to ask uh, specifically for a shirt outside the UK. Hopefully they'll give me like an exotic one from Mexico, Spain, Italy or France. It's not their fault because I did, I did say to them that I want a um, pink shirt. So there it stands out a bit. Right, uh, so we'll do this. Do this. Man City are playing Liverpool or Arsenal and Aston Villa are playing us. There we go. And Aston Villa in the semi final. Villa Real will be too easy for you. So don't bother with Villa Real. I manage them um, and they're, they're too good. So I, I won the title and stuff like that. But I wouldn't bother because you'll get bored. And you've got players that you can sell for really good money. So you'll just get bored because you'll just buy loads of Wonder Kids. I know you too well, Josh. Honestly, Salt of Ego is the best way to be with you. You can always do a, a save with Villarreal down the road. It's up to you, end of the day. I'm not, I'm not putting a gun to your head. You do what you want to do. It's your, it's your game. But yeah, I think because I know you too well. Do they? Okay. Well, what you need to do with that 34 million is not buy any wonder kids that you've heard of. So what you should do is leave your director of football and head of youth recruitment in charge of transfers. And then that way you just you just gotta trust your staff. You could always bring in a better director of football if you want to do that, but yeah, that's what I would do. Otherwise you're just gonna buy all the wonder kids and then that'll get boring because they'll end up being really good. Look at this, we've got bloody Phillips in defence. And we've got Brewster on the right. Calvert Lewin up front. We really are. We really have got a lack of squad, haven't we? Right, it's okay. It is what it is. We've got to make do. We've got to turn chicken shit chicken shit into chicken salad. Hello to anybody else in the chat. I hope they're enjoying the uh conversation me and Josh are having about him managing this out of ego. Uh Josh is Zone of Mr. FM for people who don't who are not getting the connection. Uh, if you're in the Twitch, say hello. Is anybody on the Sci Games forums who uh, have been putting up with me the last 24 hours with my thumbnails of Rafe Rovers? Um, please let me know, and I'll apologise there and then. I'm getting slightly better every time I do them, though, so they can't argue with that. I finally figured out how to um, look for high resolution logos, but annoyingly, even after I looked, even after it said, it said, I think it said, I don't know, I can't remember what the dimensions were for the pixels. It still wasn't good enough for them. So I need to, I need to keep getting better and better. But it drives them mad because I keep posting about thumbnails on there. But it's just because I want to get better at them because thumbnails and titles do make a big difference to people coming to YouTube. And as much as people say it doesn't matter, it's about the streaming. I could be the best streamer in the world. But if I'm not enticing people to click on my videos, they'll never know. So, yeah. So when they say to me, or, you know, the graphics don't matter, they do because I've watched videos of 
big time YouTubers and uh, YouTube education programs, um, education videos, and they've all said the same that thumbnails they're not they're not they're like they're not the main thing, but they are one of the main things. So I do need to get better at them. But I understand what they're saying. They're just getting fed up with me posting, but I understand. I'd probably get fed up as well as somebody's in it. But then I would just I would just ignore me, like I would just click on ignore and then just ignore me. If I was doing the editing that much. Uh that's what I did with I won't I won't name him, but that's what I did with a particular person on the Side Games forums for a few months. Um oh okay. yeah. Right. How are we getting on? Josh, you could probably do with um, having all the players from Africa loaded as well and trying to find some hidden gems from there. There's um, I'll have a look after this game. There's a player from, uh, I think it's Congo, and he turns out to be a really good striker, Basinga or something like that. I think it's D Basinga. I went from having five people on Twitch to having one people on Twitch then. That was really weird. I literally looked and it was the one. Uh, God knows. I apologise if I offended anybody. I don't know what I did. I apologise for putting you off. Right. I just found it funny. I wasn't bothered. I just found it funny. I had five and then I had one. You scared them off, Josh. Right, come on. We shouldn't be losing to Sheffield United. We're going on a bit of a bad run here at the moment. It's... Oh, I thought that was in then. Mistake. No, I'm only joking, Josh. It's just, it, 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 I just found it funny. It went from five, and then the next time I looked, it went to one. So uh, They probably just don't. They probably looked at it and probably thought, oh, this is not for me. That's, that's, that's fine. I don't judge anybody for that. Um, yeah, no, I just, I just thought it was really peculiar. Right, we've been all over them as well. If you look at the match momentum, we should have, we should be winning this game. Look at this, we're getting we're getting FM here, Josh. Two shots have had one on target. We've had twenty one shots, seven on target. We should have scored three goals, and we haven't scored any. This is an absolute disgrace. Michael Mills is going to make his debut. KOD is coming up, and we'll put on. They would tell us. Um, who can we put on for you? Nobody. Oh well. Right. Oh come on, that should have been a goal. I'm on a bad day today. I didn't. I haven't been doing well with Everton either. In my Everton save, I just started in the Premiership and uh, three games played, and I think I got one draw and two losses. It's not going well today. I'm definitely, definitely getting FM'd on here. But we still might have time to get a late equaliser here. Come on, where's Deli Ali when we need him? Oh, he's injured, isn't he? Deli Ali's injured. Uh, we'll put him on. Put him off. Who can we put on for you? Harry Clark. There we go. Let's get some of these young prospects on. These young, hungry players that want to do well. Nah, it doesn't look like we're going to get um going down to fifth now. Oh. You want to be Villarreal? Be Villarreal. You can you can manage who you want to manage, Josh. I just I just I've got a feeling that you'll you'll be top of the league in the first 6 months. You'll sign about five or six wonder kids and you'll get bored. But like I said, you've got to do what's good for you. If you want to do Villarreal, you do Villarreal. You can always do a different save afterwards. Yeah, we'll then be Villarreal then. I don't think they've got many old players at Villarreal, from what I remember, when I did my save on here. I think they've got a lot of good young players, actually. They've got Pino, they've got... Oh, let me have a look on here, because it's going to bug me. I think I've spelt that wrong. Uh, yes, yeah, two R's. Yeah, because they've got, they've got Bayena, who ends up being really good. Coenza, 
is really good. Uh, Danjama, Alchem, Alchemoth, Achmoth, Acho, Achomash. Uh, Pajasu was really good for me. Philip Jorgensen was really good for me as well. Uh, Ben Beverett and Diaz was good for me. Gareth Marino was all right when he was there. I know he's old, and he's the only oldest player that you've got, really. I mean, obviously, Timothy, but I think they signed him on the same. Denis Suarez is, I mean, I am third season in. They'll be even younger now. Yeah, you've got Perejo, who's 36, or we'll be 33 at the start of the same. You've got a few old players, but you can move them on over time. But you've got a good young squad at Villarreal. They sell anybody? Have I missed anybody in that? Um, for the real, have a look. Let's see. It. Let's look at the transfers. Out. They haven't really sold anyone last year. This year, they sold. Oh yeah, so they got him as well. They sold him. Juan, Juan, Boyf, uh, Solo. Um, and then they sold Coupe, and that's it. Oh so, yeah. Is that the start of the game? Are they all that age at the start of the game? Well, that can't be right, because I'm third season in, and, and Perejo was, he's 36, and you've got him as 35. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Right, we've signed Ashraf Hakimi, one of the best defenders in the world. That's good. Play fullback as well. He is a fullback. Sorry, I, I thought he could play centre back, but yeah. So he is a fullback. Plays on either of them. He'll definitely improve us on there. Hello, Eliza TTV. Nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, Ray Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> 619. Uh, yeah, I, I assume you're a wrestling fan then. Me and Josh are massive wrestling fans. Josh is soon a Mr. FM before you get confused, but yeah. Are you, uh, are you on the side games forums or are you, are you just a casual viewer? Because I'm all, I'm, I'm, I, most of the people that come on here are either my friends that actually know me in real life or people on the side games forum. So it's nice to have somebody that's not. Um, we've got a very, very. We need. To, we we could do with some money in January, but we. I know we ain't going to get any. I'll be amazed if we do. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, my friend. Um, nice to meet you. Is your name Eliza? Are you a man or a woman? I'm only saying. I'm only assuming you're a woman because of Eliza. So, uh, and, and or or you might be um, non-binary or I don't know. So if I think, I hope I haven't offended you. I appreciate you, whoever you are. Thank you for joining. Uh, I mostly stream football. I literally exclusively stream Football Manager. I did tinker around with streaming GTA Roleplay, GTA 5 Roleplay, but I have no idea how to do any of the commands on on there. So I, you have to, the the servers on the Roleplay, the Roleplay servers on. Uh, GTA, they're very strict. They want people to know what they're doing, so I've just kind of just left that for now because I'm not very good at GTA. So I'm just going to stick with Football Manager for a while. Maybe eventually one day I will do other games. Oh, okay, nice to meet you, Elizabeth. Val, what's Val? What 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 Val? What's there? What is the game Val about? Is it a role play game? In fact, I'm going to Google it while I'm waiting for you to respond so I can have a better idea. Right. Well, gameplay. There you go. Oh, okay, so it's a shooting game. That looks all right, actually, to be honest. I might look into getting that at some point. What's the uh, multiplayer service like? Is it? Oh, Valorant. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sorry. Complete newbie. What's uh? What's it like? Is it is it similar to Call of Duty or is it more like Halo when it comes to gameplay? Graphics look decent enough.
Uh, nothing's happened in this game so far. We, if we win, we get back up towards second place, hopefully. We'll, we'll be third, maybe, and on the other teams. I'm going to have a look and see. Uh, I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to have a look and see how much Valorant is. I won't get it today, obviously, but uh, see how much it is. Val, that's only 16 quid. It's not too bad. I'll give it. I might get it in a couple of weeks. I might do. I might do a stream of Valorant, uh, Elizabeth. Is it on there, have I just completely? Hold on. Val, Valorant. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. I can't find it on stream. Hmm. Why oh, is it not on stream? Is it a console game? So, as in, if you mean how long have I been streaming today? Um, I started at two o'clock. I had I had to come off for two minutes because my mic played up, so I had to restart my computer. You're talking about in general. I've only been doing it for about three and a half weeks. Um, so yeah, just trying to get used to it, and then doing. I do YouTube videos as well. The goal by OCM back in the team. Um, yeah, so I do. I do videos on YouTube as well on Lucha FM. So if you ever want to watch these streams, um, you go on Lucha FM on YouTube. You'll find me on there. Um, if you're if you are a fan of Football Manager, um, if it's not your cup of tea, I understand. Oh, you have to leave because of work. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, cheers. Thank you, Elizabeth. I do appreciate it. Um, is Valor Valorant, is that a console game exclusively? Because I just tried to look on uh, Steam to buy it for my laptop, and it's I, I couldn't find it. I assume it would have been a PC game as well. Right, we're winning one nil. Hartman, the son. No, oh, Pedro loses the ball. Oh, it's a PC game. Is it on Steam? Have I spelled? Oh, they've equalised. That's annoying. Um, is it? Is it on Steam? Can you find it on Steam? Am I just? Am I just being an idiot and just? It's not working for me. But I'll have a look on Google. Right. Uh, and PC. There we go. Oh, it's on Epic Games, that's why. Yeah, it's on Epic Games. I just need to... Uh, I don't have got Epic Games. I need to download it at some point. But, uh, yeah, I might, I might give it a go at some point. It looks, looks like a lot of fun. I've got a, I've got a control for it as well, so I should be able to pick it up quite quickly. I quite like shooting games. I'm not very good at them. Hence why I stick to football manager. I don't have the best hand and eye coordination, so not I've never been very good at games like driving games or Call of Duty games where you have to be really quick with your reactions. I think this is why I stick to playing football manager because it's a little bit easier for me to navigate. Yeah, I just checked. It's on um, Epic. Yeah, well, I might give it a go at some point. Are you are you a football fan or a do you play Football Manager? Is that you? Would that be a type of game that you would play? Oh my God, Mancini just fell on the floor. Mancini literally had the ball, and then he fell on the floor. Cost us a goal. It's really annoying. I mean, he can't help it, the poor bloke, but. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to be a full-time streamer, basically. I mean, I am technically a full-time streamer now, because I basically do, I do, I do an hour or two of uh, YouTube videos three or four times a week, so I've, to make sure I've got a video every day, um, because weekends I don't stream, and then I stream on Twitch four or five days out of the week, Monday to Friday. I couldn't do it yesterday because I was busy, so sometimes I'll be busy with something, so I can't stream. Most days I'll stream Monday to Friday, and then I, I chill out on the weekends. 
because I've got like a bit of I've got a girlfriend, you see. So like I don't, I don't want to make I want to make sure that she's um not, not neglecting her, and we have time together. Very unlucky not to get an equaliser at this rate. Right. They've got a free kick, I probably saw. Oh. What football team do you support then, Elizabeth? Do you, do you have a football team that you support? Uh, I tend to just relax, relax and watch TV, and I go, I go to the gym. I go to the gym twice or three times a week, depending on my motivation. And then I just tend to hang out with my girlfriend. Uh, I see my mates occasionally when they when we when we've all got the time to do it. We're all quite busy, so hard. And then I go out for days out with my my girlfriend. Uh, and then I like to do. I pretty much I've, I'm pretty much literally any of my spare time now is educating myself on YouTube and trying to get better on there and trying to produce better videos and. I really go in all in on this, so my other things that I'm interested in are kind of taking a back seat for now. That was a great ball. Oh, ah, that was an own goal, wasn't it? That wasn't that wasn't Calvert Lewin. Hit the post and then went off their bloody player, didn't it? Let's have a look at this again. Here we are, sliding this off. Great ball by Tonali to Calvert Lewin. Hit the post and then come off the player. That's an own goal, that is surely. Oh, okay. So you, is that where you live? Do you live in Spain, in, in, in Madrid? We get a late equaliser. Oh. That would have been beautiful if we got that late equaliser. We get an, all we're going to do is have another bloody loss, so... Come on, we've still got eight minutes. We can do this. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, time is not on our side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I live in the UK. I live in the UK, yeah. What's it like in Cali at the moment? Is it nice? Is it warm? Is that Cali as in California or Cali as in Cali in Colombia? Are you from Colombia? Or am I thinking it is Cali in Colombia, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to get this equaliser. If anything, I think Chelsea's going to score again. Ugh. Yeah, California. Yeah. What's it like in California at the moment? Because I know they have, for years, they've had a problem with homelessness and stuff like that. And uh, and it's literally the reason why a lot of the stand-up comedians like Joe Rogan and Tom Segura and that have moved away. And I'm just wondering... Has that got better or has it got worse? We're on a losing streak and we've got bloody Arsenal next game. I mean, we're still fifth. I shouldn't beat myself up too much about it. If we get a win, we overtake. Uh, they've got two games ahead of us, though. Uh... Yeah, you should come to the UK. Bright Brighton is a nice place. My friend Josh lives in Brighton. He is the the gentleman I was speaking to on chat a minute ago. Uh, he's from Brighton. It's a nice little uh, little town there, and they got and and they got a nice beach. And uh, I think it's a beach there, isn't there, Josh? Um, and it's quite close to London as well. So you could always do a day trip in London and come back to Brighton. But yeah, you should definitely go there. Um, there's be some beautiful countryside in, in the UK. I wouldn't necessarily go where I live because it's very industrial. It's quite, it's quite rubbish, to be honest. There's not much beauty where I live. It's a bit dreary. Yeah. See, I w I've always wanted to go to all around America, but I'm terrified of flying, so it will never happen for that reason. Um... Yeah, but yeah, I do watch a lot of like American stuff and that. I'm, like I said, a big massive, always been a massive wrestling fan. So 
I think my love for America has always stemmed from that. Right, we need to win this game. Uh, Costa in goal, KOD right back, Phillips and Ineccio in defence, Dante on the left back, Sally in the middle of midfield with Joe Linton, Messi back on the right wing, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, Son on the left, and Calvert living up front. Still, we're still not a back at a full strength team yet. That's probably why we're forms dropped a bit on here. Yeah. So the mask is basically um, a massive wrestling fan, and I just wanted to stand out. I just have a very normal, boring... Yes, go on, Calvert-Lewin. Uh, I have a normal, normal, boring YouTuber face. I have a bald head and a beard, and I wear glasses. Uh, I'm straightforward. Like, I, I don't stand out. So I wanted to wear a mask, and I wanted to keep some... Not that I'm going to get, like... Not that I think I'm going to get really big and famous or anything like that. I probably won't. But what it is, I just don't... I just want to keep my identity... Um, just so I can just have a normal life. If uh, even if I only get fifty people that subscribe to me, you know, a lot of people on they see they see a celebrity and they just they act inappropriate because they don't know how to talk to people or they don't know how to leave people alone. Like wrestlers get hassled all the time by fans and stuff. I'm not saying I'm gonna get to any point like that. I I, I won't. But I just want it's mostly just so I stand out more than anything else. Uh, Rey Mysterio is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. It's mostly the reason why I got this Rey Mysterio mask was because I had another mask before, and um, it was muffling my speech and that when I was talking on the mic. So I got this one because it's an open mouth one, so it makes it easier for me to talk and people can hear me better. That was the main reason. But yeah, Rey Mysterio is one of the one of the best ever. Um, so he definitely definitely gets my respect for that. Like, who's your favourite wrestler then, Eliza? Gosh, I don't think I've ever asked you who's your favourite ever wrestler. I probably have. Have you got an actual favourite wrestler, Josh? Or probably got several knowing you. I know what you like. <laughs> That's not the dig, by the way. I'm just joking. Uh, right, there we go. Coop. Oh, still one nil up though. We've got got a little bit of time left. We could we could really just do with winning this game now. Take any more players off? No, we can't. Goldberg. Uh, <laughs> Goldberg was awesome back in the day. How old are you then, Eliza? Because you, if you like Goldberg and Rey Mysterio, it makes me feel like you're. Unless you don't want to tell me your age, it's never never polite to ask a woman her age. But uh, are you are you a? Uh, I was born in eighty four. Are you are you? I'm thirty nine. Are you round about that age range, or are you younger? Uh, I don't like anime. I don't. I don't watch any anime. I don't have anything against it. I just never really bothered. It's never really interested me. Uh, there we go. Two 0 Calvert Lewin pulled off an unlikely victory here. Yeah, yeah, he's a badass Goldberg. Dante now. There we go. Passes it back. In nature. Dante. Costa. Phillips. Just uh, wasting a bit of time here by the looks of it. Just killing the time, killing the clock. Joe Linton now. Oh, nearly, nearly got a third goal. Oh, you're twenty. Are you only twenty four? Are you? You bloody baby compared to me and Josh. Me and Josh. I think Josh is quite young actually. To be honest, I don't think he's old. Pick one, Josh. <laughs> oh, you can't like Jericho now. Come on, after what's happened recently. They're tuning in uh, cheers on AEW now when he's in the ring. That's how bad it's got. Yeah, you're only 33. You're still a youngster compared to me. I'm old. I'm nearly I'm 40 this year. I'm an old git this year. If you live in uh, Elizabeth, if you live in California, it's a shame that PWG isn't isn't doing their shows anymore. They used to do shows in Reseda, California, and they were always really good um, wrestling shows that they would do, and the crowd really got into it. Um, it's a shame they're they're not running anymore because you could have gone and seen them. Very hard to get tickets though, but they've they've stopped running shows now. I think it's a shame. 
Or no, actually, no. I think they're only stop. I think they're only stop shows for this year, and I think next year, no, last year. So I think this this year, I think they're going to start doing shows again. You might want to just keep an eye out for PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla. But yeah, they do some really good shows. Do you watch current wrestling, Elizabeth? Do you watch uh, WWE or AEW? Uh, I watched Matt Matt Rife. Yeah, I watched one of his shows recently. Yeah, Garona would be a good team, Josh, to manage. Yeah, I know. I know who he is. Yeah, he's he's getting a lot of controversy, isn't he? Um, yeah. I didn't mind his his show. I thought it was all right. I think he's more popular because women find him attractive. I think that's. I think. I don't think he's any better than other comedians I've I've heard. I think it just helps that he's good looking, which is part of his act as well. I suppose it's what makes him stand out to others. You should uh, you should get back into wrestling. It's uh, it's getting pretty good now. Again, it's getting popular again. WWE and you got AEW as well, and they've got. AEW's got a few of the old WWE stars like Jericho, Edge and Christian, um, people like that. So you might want to give them a watch as well. They're on T uh, AEW's on TBS. So um, we watch it on a different channel in the UK, but yeah. Are you not a fan of Matt Rice then? Is that why you're asking me? Let's see if I wasn't a fan as well. I'd love to. Let's see if I can sign a boy. I don't think they'll. I haven't got any money, so there's no point in me trying. Let's see if the board will sign him for me. Ah, worth a try. All right, we'll just keep an eye on you anyway. Mo Salah, can we try and sign Mo Salah? Would the board try and? Will the board let me sign him at least? If I keep bugging them to sign these players, will eventually they give in? Maybe not. Sign him. Come on, can we sign in? Come on. Meanies. Bunch of meanies. And Dyke. How many more can we get? Oh, no, we can't. I think you get three. You get a limit of three. Griezmann. We could sign Griezmann on a free transfer, but I think at that point, there's no point. We're not going to get much out of him. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on these players. Is this about Messi not being good enough? Sod off. Oh, hold on. We'll just trigger the uh, the clause. Is he? Have they got him listed? Why have you listed Messi? Stupid assistant manager. How dare you? Greatest of all time. Right? Can we? Can we get him a new contract? Maybe. Oh, he's interested. Oh, two years. So that's good. It's gonna cost us a bit though. Uh, we'll sell him. Uh, we'll leave the rest for now. Sorry to Josh and Elizabeth. I will bet bear with us. I will be with you in a second. Ah, oh, Messi's not happy. <laughs> oh well, what a shame. He'll have to just make do with it. You're here forever, Messi. You ain't leaving. All right, playing Nottingham Forest now. Uh, I haven't got around to doing YouTube shorts yet. It is something I'm trying to learn about because it is more popular now than doing the normal videos. I'm trying to figure out ideas when it comes to football manager content doing YouTube shorts. But yeah, they definitely would help my channel. Um, yeah, Matt Rife does does look a bit too perfect, doesn't he? Um, it's not his fault. He's just a good looking man. Fair play to him. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Elizabeth, I will be getting around to doing YouTube shorts because I want to try and get monetized on YouTube, Twitch, and 
uh, TikTok. So I've got potentially three avenues to make money. I'm not saying I will get monetized on any of them, um, but I'm, I'm doing everything I can to do that by basically just keep producing content and then hopefully I'll catch a break and I'll become popular or something and make money getting monetized or get a, a, a brand deal or something like that. Just basically, as much as I'm doing this as a hobby, um, real life gets in the way and you do, and I have to make money because I don't, I don't work at the moment. I don't have a job. I want to do this so I don't have to get a full-time job because getting a job sounds like the most worst thing for me because I hate working for other people. I'd rather work for myself. Oh, yeah. I had an eBay shop, but it didn't do... Uh, it, it did well for a while, but stopped doing well. All right, still nil-nil. Gibbs right, a very good player. Hartman, come on, closing down. Letting them play on here at this point. There we go. Defending, but we've lost the ball again. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. They're, they're, you know, they're welcome to join. I'll, I'll just, even if I play football manager, I'll talk to anybody about anything that they want to talk about, you know, in life in general. Uh, I'm a wise old head, me, so... Might be able to get. I mean, you're only young. I might be able to give you advice in some way. Uh, might be able to give you advice when it comes to creating content and that. Um, I've only been doing it for about four weeks, but I've learned a hell of a lot in such a short period of time. So they want any help with that. Yeah, feel free to get them to join. I do appreciate that. Um, football Manager is not massively popular in America, though, so I don't know whether they'd enjoy watching me play the, with these little men kicking the ball, but they might. They might just find me interesting because some people just watch personalities and not necessarily the stuff that they're producing. Um, there's a YouTuber that I watch who does Football Manager content, but then he's done other stuff as well. He did a video where he opened up loads of packs of Pokemon. But because I liked him, I watched it because I was enjoying I enjoy him as a personality. So, yeah. Like I said, that's just how it goes sometimes. My players are knackered already. It's only half time. Right, come on, let's get a goal. Yes, get in, Ali Coot. The Irish Lionel Messi is. Do you, um, what did you, so you used to stream Valorant, didn't you? Did you ever stream anything else? I could always give you a follow if you want. I just need to follow. There you go. Hope that was okay. I'll just give you a little follow on here. If it's not okay, let me know and I'll 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 delete the follow request. I just thought in case you end up doing any Valor Valorant Valorant or Valorant um stuff on stream, I could give you a little watch, give you some support. All right, coots on the ball. Ah, nearly. Right, Joe Linton with the ball. Finale. Una. Coot. Oh, Coot's on fire today. He's, he's like a man possessed here. He just, you know, win us this game on his own. Oh, I forgot we have, I forgot we have Briam Diaz. Been injured for ages, isn't he? Right, we'll put Clark in there. Take off Gordon. We'll put Diaz in there. There you go. We'll bring you back, Diaz. I'll probably stay until about for another 45 minutes because obviously the delay. So um, make it make it a little bit better. Oh, bloody hell, 1-1. One, one. Let me know when you're leaving, Josh, because I know you probably finished work in a minute. Uh, let me know when you're leaving as well, Elizabeth, so I can say goodbye, mate. Yeah, thank you for contributing, you two. It makes a big difference to the stream when I've got something to do, uh, talk to. Oh, I think we've got a penalty here to us. 
Bit work in our favor. VAR is checking. VAR, penalty check. No, oh, come on, ref. Or a oh, okay. Well, I'll probably be finishing up when you literally finish. All right, we've got the ball now. Ossiman. Oh, come on, Ossiman. Bit rusty, any? We'll let him off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See, if he was, if he wasn't like just come back from injury, I think he would have finished off straight away. Still got a bit of time. Let's, uh, let's try and demand more, see if that helps. No, it looks like it's going to end 1 1. Oh. oh, no. Don't tell me they're going to bloody score. Come on. Close them down. Close them down. Close them down. Oh, do not give them a penalty. Oh, come on, Coop. Outside the box. That's oh, alright. Right, it's their free kick though, but hopefully it won't lead to a goal. There we go. We'll take what we can get at this point. We're really struggling with the lack of fitness in the team. Like I said, Son's now out for two months as well, picking up injuries again. Got to rest Ossiman for the next couple of games. Send you on holiday. Come on, I hate it when that happens, right. There you go. And then we'll rest you. Yes, Coop, you did play well, but you nearly bloody lost us the game. Right, okay, let's have a look at who's knackered. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay. So we'll rest you lot. Uh, I do have my Twitter on there. I should have my Twitter and my... Fa oh, no, I put them on my Facebook. But I, I put them on my eBay. And, ugh, I put my socials on my YouTube, but I haven't done it on Twitch yet. Here. Oh. And then... I think it's the same for Facebook. But yeah, just type, just search for Lutra FM on Facebook if it's not that one. But I know the Twitter one's that one. Yeah, just uh, feel free to follow me on there. I will post. I don't post much on there at the moment because I'm still getting used to it and doing that. But I do usually post when I'm just about to go on stream. So you should be able to have notifications come up there. But yeah, I appreciate your support, Elizabeth. Much appreciated. Are you doing much else with the rest of your day? What time is it in California at the moment? What do you need to stream, Josh? Uh, a decent mic, a webcam, preferably, obviously, that works, that's pretty decent. HD webcam is what I've got. You don't need that, but it does make it better. Uh, you probably need like a, some LED lights. Um, cheers, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, you need a, a, probably could do with a backdrop. It just depends. You don't have to do all this. Um, yeah, if, you, if your laptop's already got, um, yeah, I'll give you a follow back, uh, Elizabeth. Don't worry. But yeah, if you've got a decent laptop, then that helps as well. Um, I haven't had your thing come up yet, Elizabeth, so bear with us. It might take a while to get the notification come up. In the meantime, if you wanna if you wanna post your Twitter on in the chat, and then I'll add you on there. That's easier. I don't mind giving you a follow. Um, yeah, Josh, you don't need to go crazy. It's just me because I, my OCD, I want to get everything just right. A lot of YouTubers don't do that at the start. They just, they just basically just do it. Um, I, I try to make an extra effort just to try and stand out straight away. And you could do it like a, a unique, unique USP as they call it, something that makes you stand out, I suppose. Well, good, good morning, Elizabeth. Um, it is it is nearly 4 p.m. in the UK. Ah, there we go. Okay. 
Um, what if I do that and then and that? There we go. I found you. All right, I'm giving you a follow. Oh uh, yeah, I'm giving you a follow, Liz. I'll just I'll, I'll have a proper look at your your profile on Twitter in a minute when I get when I finish off stream. But yeah, feel free to keep in touch on there. You know, you can always message me. It's not my main Twitter, so it will it might take me a while sometimes to reply. Um, same with this if you followed me on. Sorry, my webcam just dropped there. Um, what is your webcam rating on this? Oh God, I don't know, Josh. Webcam test. Okay. Test my cam. Yes. I don't know which webcam it's going to test though. That's the problem because it might test the webcam that I've got. Uh, okay. I don't know. It's not working for some reason, Josh. I don't know. Right, let's get back on this. I'll have a look at some point, Josh. But yeah, I don't know whether it'll just be the old webcam that I've got that's in integrated into my uh, how is that? Um integrated into my laptop or it might be the one that I've got plugged in because I've got two webcams technically. Oh uh, yeah. I was just having a quick look at your uh, your, your Valorant footage um, on your Twitter. I oh, know it wasn't yours, it was one that you posted. Looks like a good game though. Do you play any other games, Elizabeth? Josh, do you play any other games other than Football Manager and, and TEW? I don't think we've had that conversation yet. Oh, God, we've got Man City next game. Jesus Christ. We can't catch a break, can we? We had Arsenal the game before, I think. Oh, no, that was two games before, but... Oh. Yeah, Assassin's Creed's not too bad. So you need to download... For you to stream on Twitch um, and record videos with and, and stuff like that, you need to download this software called OBS. O OBS? Typed into chat. I think it's OBS. OBS Studio. It is free. Um, and then it's easy to set up. There's a few videos on how to set it up. I could probably show you how to do I could probably tell you how to do it if I've got a bit of time. But it is very easy to set up. But if I was you, I'd download OBS. I'd download an in a beginner's guide to how to use it. Uh, take your time. Test a few things out in the settings and stuff like that. Set it all up. Do what I do before you record a video and before you stream. Do a little test video for like five seconds where you test to make sure the mic's working and everything's working. Because that you know you'd be surprised how sometimes your mic will stop working before like, for no reason, like you did with mine earlier. Oh, we've had offers of coot. I don't want to sell coot. No, I'm going to reject them. Oh, I thought he was Irish. Scottish player. Sorry, I apologise. Right, okay. Uh, I think we're going to sign Neymar. He doesn't want much wages either. Send you out on loan. Uh, we'll praise Clark. He's been doing really well. You're not leaving us, we need you. Yeah. I've got loads of I've got games on my I've got loads of games that I bought on the um stream sorry, Steam works sale, and then I've never played them. I just bought them and I've got loads. I've got a few Assassin's Creeds, I've got 
I've got all the Hitman series. In fact, I'll, have, I'll tell you which ones I've got exactly on here. Now, so I have got, obviously, Football Manager, but I've got Assassin's Creed's Origins. I've got Batman's Arkham Asylum uh, Game of the Year edition. I've got um, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year, Batman Arkham Knight, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, City Skylines, The Elder Scrolls 3, 4, and 5, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Farming Simulator 17, Ghost Runner, Gotham Knights, Grand Theft Auto 5, which I do play occasionally, but I've recently uninstalled, all the Hitmen's games, Horizon, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, I've got Payday 2, Planet Zoo, I've got, the, these stalk, I've got three of these Stalker games, uh, I've got Tropico 5, I've got Witcher 1, 2, and 3, I've got Worms Rumble, XCOM 2, and I've got all the Yakuza collection as well. So I've got loads of games, I just haven't, I haven't been bothered to uh, do it. Yeah, you built in Michael do for now, Josh. Um, don't even need to show your face. You could do you could do it faceless. You could just have a little avatar in the in the corner, and you could just talk. Yeah, um, I haven't played that zoo game. I got I got confused. I couldn't figure out how to play it. I might play it with my. I might get my girlfriend to play it because she she loves animals more than I do. Well, I love animals. We both love animals the same. I wouldn't say she loves them more than me. So we love watching things with animals. So she probably quite. She'd probably get into that game. She's obsessed with this game at the moment where she gets to make all sorts of different baked goods and things like that. She grows these things in a farm. She plays this game all bloody day. Can't get her off it. But it makes her happy and it helps her with like stress and anxiety, so I just let her get on with it. She doesn't moan at me too much when I'm on when I'm on football manager. Right, so we've got Man City next. We've got Foster and Gar, Coyote, Phillips, Inicio, Livermento, Bruno, Joe Linton, Messi, oh, Messi, Raheem Diaz is back, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, Albert Lewin up front. So uh, we're still a bit weak. We're still a bit weak in defence and up front. But we will try our best as always. Uh, that's probably more up uh, Josh's. Uh, I don't know. I don't really watch any web series. Yeah, I was going to say, Josh. You've got, you, you, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to chat you up when I say this, but you got. You are a good-looking guy. So, um, yeah. But you can just. Look, you'll get. You'll get more comfortable talking as you. As you go along, it's it's not. I mean, I've always been good at talking, but there are times where I freeze and stuff like that. So, you know, it's only natural. And also, when you're recording a video, what you can do is you can. It doesn't matter if you if you get a bit anxious and stuff like because you can just leave a few seconds of dead air and then start again, and then just edit it out, or just stop the recording and then record a new video and then just use some video editing software to pull them together so it looks seamless. It's what I do. I use video editing software. You'll be all right, Josh. Don't you worry, mate. I'll help you if you get stuck. If we did our own podcast, Josh, you'd be all right, because I do 99% of the talking anyway. You can just stand there and occasionally chime in. <laughs> you know what I'm like, my, my motor mouth. Oh, come on, don't let Man City... Oh, come on, I knew that was going to happen. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Uh, if, if I if I do have the time, I will do it with you at some point, Josh. Um, you just have to give me a few months first. Let me get 
let me get used to doing all this first and then figure out if I've got the time to do it. My days are very busy at the moment. Elizabeth, you can come in and be our occasional um, guest from America and you can, you can talk about Goldberg and Rey Mysterio and, play, and people, wrestlers that you know. We can, we'll, bring you on, we'll bring you on the podcast. There you go. You can, have, you can give us the uh, female perspective. Josh can bring the ladies in. I'll bring the wrestling fans in. And then you can you can bring in all the the women folk women the women you can bring in the women as well from a different perspective because there isn't many podcasts with uh, wrestling podcasts with women. Uh, there's one from there's one that Denise Salcedo, she's a, a massive wrestling fan. She's done really well in the last two years. Um, she's even been at WWE press conferences and stuff like that. So yeah. It's about finding a niche in it, really, and then getting good at it. I, I can easily do you, uh, YouTube shorts. I just need to think of the ideas of what to do, like football manager stuff, or because um, I'm all for trying to get monetized quickly, quicker than usual. Because everybody wants to get paid. <laughs> so I want to get paid. Oh, no, we're going to concede another goal here. Oh, come on. We did so well to get it 2-1 as well. Right, okay. Injecto, Supermoth, Diomande's back. At least we're getting a few of these players back from injury now. Uh, we can't take you off. We can take you off, though. So you can come off. And Al Moran can come on. Yeah, you could be like the, the specialist for TNA, Josh, and I could be like AEW or WWE. I, I'm so out of touch with AEW. The last, I haven't watched the last pay-per-view all the last two weeks of their TV because I just don't have time to watch it all. And I watch WWE with my girlfriend, so, um, so I keep up with that. Ah, oh, 2-2. Two, two. I'm annoyed at that. I thought we could have won that game. Right, Leicester City in the FA Cup third round. What, what are we doing for time at the moment? Right, probably give it a... Oh, Durandi, you're coming at the wrong time. I'm, I'm only going to be here for about another 20 minutes. Hello, my friend, Durandi, my uh, our Dutch friend. Josh, say hello to Durandi. Elizabeth, this is Durandi. He is from the Netherlands. Um, he, he's a very knowledgeable on the Netherlands football team and PSV Eindhoven, his favourite team. So feel free to say hello to him. Yeah, I probably will like put sh put a few shorts in the in the stream and do it that way. It's just having the time to do it at the moment. Um, like I say, I just my day consists of me going to the gym, coming back, doing about an hour or two of creating videos for uh, for YouTube, having like an hour or maybe to relax, and then streaming for two hours. And then by the time I finish that, my girlfriend usually comes back from work, so it's it's having the time to do it all. And in between all that, I'm trying to learn how to get better at all sorts of things to do with YouTube. But there will come a point where I'll be, I'll be very good at doing certain things and it will take less time to do. So it's not an issue. Just like I said, when you start something new, you, you try and absorb as much knowledge as possible. But it's not easy. It's not as easy as people think it is. It, it, it takes a lot of work to create a really good video for YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, who, who are PSV playing, Randy? Oh, was it Josh that asked that? Sorry. Oh, they're playing 20. I'll probably say 3-0 to PSV. There you go. That's my prediction. Elizabeth, do you want to do a score prediction? five people in here now hello everyone i think i might start doing my streams a little bit later at this point because i feel like more people come on here later but i can't do it in the week in that case because my partner gets back from work from about six o'clock and 
I don't, she, it's not fair on her. She comes back from work and she's got to go upstairs out the way while I'm doing streaming. But she can't watch TV. And she can't make, she doesn't want to make too much noise because she wants to respect my uh, privacy so I can do this. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that to her. That's why I kind of do two o'clock. But what I might do is start doing two o'clock till say half four, do an extra half an hour for people like Durandi who get here a little bit later so they can at least contribute and you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's nice that I'm getting some, um, like Durandi's coming back and obviously Josh is supporting me and now I've got Elizabeth here, so I do appreciate it. Yeah, I know you wish I didn't longer, Josh, so you didn't have to do any work. <laughs> So she usually works, she works nine till five, but she's usually back about six o'clock because she takes about an hour to get home from work because of the traffic from from uh, Birmingham. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, Elizabeth and that, I appreciate you and appreciate you, Randy. Josh, you're my friend, so you have to come on in. That's the rule. <laughs> no, jokes aside, I do really appreciate you, Josh, as well. Um, Yeah. Randy, have you subscribed to me yet on... I think you subscribe, subscribed to me on YouTube, haven't you? No, as if you went, mate. I just thought I'd ask. I can't remember if you said you had or not. The only reason I'm asking is because when I look at my analytics, it doesn't say any subscribers from Netherlands. So I was just wondering if you have subscribed just for that reason. Yeah, that's fine, buddy. It's fine. Now, what did you say about PSV? Um, I hope I hope Elizabeth got that reference. By the way, Josh, she, she might be. She might. I mean, she did laugh, but um, yeah, I hope she got the um, reference there. Try not to get me banned, please, Josh. <laughs> no, I think she took it in a stride. I think she took it in a uh, stride. Yeah. Right, they're after Trey right? Fifty-five million. Is he really good? Um, I might want to. I might have to keep him. Hold on. I thought we had him. Oh no, we haven't got him, have we? We nearly signed him, and then he went somewhere else. I signed Traor from the Everton side. That's why I'm getting confused. I won't sign him if he's fifty-five bloody million. All right. Okay. Yeah. We'll accept them. We'll accept them. Oh, okay. Fair enough, Josh. Nicely, nicely, nicely. Uh, I think you've sent Elizabeth off because we've only got two people on here now. You've scared her off. <laughs> unless it's unless it's just uh, catching up, I suppose. I'm only joking, Josh. By the way, don't worry. But yeah, I'm going to stand here until, uh, for another ten minutes, and then I'm going to call it a day. Um, because I did an hour before it cut out, and I'm doing an hour and a half now. Um. Yeah, I do appreciate everybody joining in today. Oh, I was just checking my phone. Apologize. Right, very rude of me. Uh, Botman, you are not getting Botman. Uh. Do I sell him? No. Don't want to sell him, thank you. Right, Sun signed a new contract. Good, good, good. When you say so before all these, what do you use to do? You mean what did I used to do in my life, as in job wise, um, Elizabeth? I assume that's what you meant. Um I've worked in like I've worked in shops, supermarkets, I've worked in office work, I've done sales work. Um, I just don't like particularly working for other people and having to get up every day at a certain time to then have to go somewhere for a certain time. I like to just do everything at my own pace and my own schedule. So I had an eBay shop for about three years. I've still got it, um, my eBay shop, but I don't make much money from it these days because... Um, just, just the economy in our country, or probably in every country, basically, 
um it just means people don't have the money that they used to have to spend on things like clothes and stuff so it's uh it's completely shut down really um right we're playing this i think we'll play this game and then one more game and then i'm going to call it a day i think uh leave them wanting more go on a high leave on a high Yeah, it does. You need to do what you're passionate about. I, I think with everybody, I think everybody needs to do what they're passionate about. Find something they're passionate about and then do it. I was passionate about, so what I used to do in my spare time before I did it as a business is I used to go into, we call them charity shops, but in America, you're calling thrift. You're calling thrift, thrift stores. And we used to, I used to find stuff that was undervalued in charity shops um get buy them cheap and then sell it on for profit and i also would go to wholesalers and buy job lots of clothes and stuff like that and that's how i made my money i made a consistent good living from that for about at least consistently for about two years at least so yeah so you just need to do something that you yeah well maybe you should start selling your artwork and stuff like that on um etsy etsy.com is a good website for things like that you look your local facebook groups as well things like that instagram um there's a there's a place i think it's a website called whatnot auctions where you do it live like a, a thing like that yeah you should do stuff that like i said do stuff that you're passionate about elizabeth Yeah, because if you carried on with the digital animator and illustrator stuff, you could probably make good money from that. My uh, my brother, um, he he he's got a, a, a an art degree, and he likes anime and stuff like that. I don't think he watches it as much as he used to, but he was obsessed with Pokemon as a kid. He absolutely loved Pokemon. We're absolutely destroying Leicester in this game. Is what we need. We need a victory at the moment. Yeah, you're only young. You still got plenty of time. You can you you can have about two or three different careers in your life. You're only 24. Uh, what you might want to do is just do a couple of little things, like you do keep keep doing the thing part time, and then do other things as well, um, and then just see what you're passionate about, and then you can make money from doing about two or three different things. But it also gives you the freedom to to work as little or as often as you want. That's why I always say everybody should do that. Really, I know not. I know everybody can't be self-employed because then we wouldn't have people working in shops and things that we need. But yeah, just do what you're passionate about. Hartman, ah, oh, lucky. But yeah, if you ever need any help with uh, things like that, just just inbox me on my Twitter. I'll get I'll get back to you at some point. I usually check it once a day. Obviously, there's a time difference as well, because so, you know, um, but yeah, you'll you'll be, you'll be, you'll be it'll be in the middle of your day, and I'll probably be in bed asleep. So um, yeah, there's a bit of a time difference. Almiron, oh, nearly. That's all right, Elizabeth. I appreciate your uh, your support and your on here. Um, I enjoy talking to Josh and Randy, but it it makes a nice change of conversation when somebody new is in here. Uh, yeah, so thank you for subscribing to me on here and YouTube. Much appreciated. What have you been up to today, Randy? Anything exciting? Josh is uh, trying to sky, uh, trying to get away from doing any work as much as possible. <laughs> You better hope, Josh, that the that, that, um the 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 internet connection your work uses doesn't check uh internet history. Because you might get in trouble for watching stuff on Twitch. Yeah, I bet the weather's nicer in California. It's absolutely freezing in my flat. I have no central heating in my flat. I've got I've got this uh, what they call the storage heater. They they should be outlawed. Basically, they 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 produce barely any heat. The little goal there by Pedro. Um, they produce very little heat, and they are a massive drain on my electric. Um, cost me a bloody fortune. 
Um, I don't even know why I have them on half the time. Yeah, that's fine. Enjoy the rest of your day, Elizabeth. Thanks again for your uh, your interaction, and I'll um, I'll drop you a message later on in the week on Twitter and see how you're getting on. But I'm usually on I'm usually on Twitch two p.m. UK time, so feel free to join in whenever you get a chance if you want to come and say hello. But yeah, thanks and all the best. Enjoy the rest of your day. Right then, Josh and Durandi, you've got. Probably five, ten more minutes if you want to chat away and chat to me and whatever. If not, you can just chill, don't worry. I'm going to do this game and do one more game and then I'm calling it day. Randy, feel free to follow me on Twitter as well, LutraFM on Twitter, because I usually post when I'm about to go on which so then that way if you uh it'll be easy for you to figure out when i'm going to be on and not be on i should be on for the rest of this week now i wasn't on yesterday but i will be on tomorrow thursday and friday 2 p.m till four half four yeah no thanks for coming back to randy i do appreciate it it, it gives josh and somebody else to talk to as well which is good because it gives me a <laughs> Are you joking, Josh? I'm just joking. I was going to say it gives me a break from him, but I enjoy talking to Josh. I run out of things. I, I can't think what to talk to you about half the time anyway. I'm like that with my usual mates. I'm a bit of a social recluse as I'm getting older, struggling to have conversations with people. Which is daft, really, when you think about it as I do this. I have better conversations with strangers than I do with people I know. Because you feel like it's a new conversation with a stranger. Right, so we're just going to play one more game, and then that's it. What do you mean, give us a break? I'll give you a break. <laughs> Gives you a break. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said give us a break. I thought I offended you. Yeah. But fifth, what has happened? I'll show you what's happened. It's your fault, Josh. I blame this all on you for the downfall of Newcastle United on this save. <laughs> no, what happened is I lost I lost these two games here. I lost three games out of the four. And then I I, I had a couple of draws, but and then and then that so it's kind of just and other teams are strong. The other teams are just stronger than me, I think. They've got a few games ahead of me as well. But we'll just keep pushing on. Try and get top four. I really want to get top four because if I'm going to do one more season, I'm going to I'm going to try and win the Champions League next season. Um, that will be my main focus. So I've got to try and get top four this season, or else or else I'll, the save ends and I'll start a new save. I'll start a new save. Um, I might start it next week actually if it doesn't go well with Newcastle because I think by obviously by the end of this week or this this season will be finished. So. Um, I'm going to do a European journey, man, which will probably be more to your liking because it'll be a bit more entertaining for you because I won't be winning all the time. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, maybe you should do a European journeyman safe. Start with no coaching badges. Start with Sunday League Rare. Uh, download a few um, lead, a few countries and stuff that you've never managed in before. And then just keep going until you get a job and then try and work your way up. I'm going to make it even harder for me and I'm going to like pretend it's like real life and would, and for instance, would I move to Poland for an extra hundred pounds a week? No, I probably wouldn't. So, and then also as well, I'm not going to leave the club I'm managing. Most probably, I might I might make an exception if the right job comes along, but I'm only going to um, switch teams if I get approached by a team. So, if I get a team approaches me, and then that's fine. But if they don't approach me, then I'm not going for the job. 
So that'll make it a little bit interesting in a way. Right then, this is the last game of the stream. We've got Costa in goal, Hakimi on the right, Liveramento and Botman in the middle, Hartman on the left, Sonali and Joe Linton in the middle of midfield, Coote on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, and Kuna on the left, and Amashen up front. That looks like a strong team, in my opinion. It doesn't feel like any weaknesses there. Should have rotated, though, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I do watch a lot of Lelujo, so um, I am influenced by him. So then I probably will do a, a few things that he does similar as well, just because I like the, like the little things that he does. For instance, when he, when he plays for a new team, he'll look at the area and he'll look for houses to buy or rent there and look at things like that. So I'm going to do similar stuff to that, just to give it that added little... Just make it a little bit more fun and make it, you know. But it will be blatantly copying him, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not very good at thinking of original ideas. Yeah, I hope it will be fun. I hope so. Um, I did a few test saves and I got... Um, in the few test saves I did, I, did, I had, like, different countries and I got offered... The, the, one of the jobs I got offered was a second division team in Finland called Nome, Nome United or something like that. It might not be Finland, but it was one of them. Um, Hartman looks like he's getting sent off. That's not what we want. Ah, bloody Hartman. Um, and then another one I got offered a... I can't remember. Was it a, I think it was a, an Italian, series, uh, Italian D division team or something like that. What's going on here? What's going on here? Come on, cancel. There we go. Um, the thing is, though, where I live, um, and yeah, there's a few teams I could manage than that, but it, there's not much choice. It's like I think at the top of my head, there's like two or three teams. Solly Hall would be one of them. Uh, Kidderminster Harris would might be another one. Um, but there's no real teams in in the town I live in um, that has that has that team really in the lower divisions. Warsaw might be one, I suppose, but uh, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, Solly Hall's pretty good actually because they were just recently in. Were they in League 2 last season or something like that? So they did well to get up, but then I think they went back down, didn't they? Um, I don't think we're going to win this. That was annoying. Ah, looks like we're at the Cowboy Cup because of bloody Hartman. Yeah, it'd be a bit unique, wouldn't it, Solly Hall? You have many um, lower league teams near, near near Brighton or in Brighton near Brighton. Or a bit, uh, it, yeah, because Brighton's such a small place, isn't it? So, oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely out the uh, Cowboy Cup now. Oh, well, we got to the semis. They're absolutely destroying us now. Oh my god. Can this game end now, please? We are getting 
humiliated here. Oh, let's just end this game now. Come on. There is no point doing this highlight. Even if we've scored, it makes no difference. And we've lost the ball. We got fouled though, we get a penalty, I suppose. Who's taken the penalty? Austin, Austin then, probably. Yeah. Probably. Austin then, Messi? No, Austin then. He's not playing. Got right, Austin then, get your consolation goal. Come on, let's get it done. Oh, I can't even get a bloody consolation goal. Star luck. Corner, most pointless corner ever. Come on, let's just end the game now. End my misery. Okay, thank you. Right, that's that done. Yeah, I probably will start a new save after this season's done, Josh. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ifing and ahhing whether I'm that bothered about winning the Champions League. I won the Premiership with Newcastle. So I did that in the first season, which wasn't expected. I was expecting to probably do it in a couple of years. So if anything, if I just said, if I just said it, win the Premiership, then I'd already done what I needed to do. Right then, that's me done. Thank you, Josh. Thank you to Randy. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you to anybody else that pops along. Sorry that it got cut out so cut off so shortly. Uh, I will be back on at two p.m. So don't worry about it. Josh. If that changes, I will let you know. Um, yeah, have a good evening as well. Uh, in the meantime, if anybody wants to watch anybody else on Twitch for manager content, um, Zealand is usually pretty entertaining. He's an American guy playing football manager, so it makes him a little bit unique in that way. And he's a very nice bloke. So. Yeah, so just uh, enjoy watching him and all the best and have a nice day. See you later, everyone. Bye.